you are learning Power BI, then this is the series for you. Start from video one to learn all the basic concepts of Power BI. This particular series had more than 150 plus videos to teach you each and every concepts around DEX, around Power Query, so that you can enhance your skills in Power BI. Subscribe to the channel. Hello and welcome to another video on Power BI beginner tutorial series and in this video we are going to discuss one Power Query function that is table from rows. Now table from rows function uh, gives us table from a list of rows that's what we have to provide. So let's look at the argument which we need to give. So we need to give rows as a list and optional columns as any means we can uh, specify what column names are and we can also specify the data type of those columns. Now let's scroll down and look at the example. So table from rows we are giving a list and that list contain another list which actually contain each row of the table. So it is basically list of lists which we can provide and once we provide that list of lists we can get a table. Now we can also provide the column names and using that we will also get the names for our column and then we can actually specify the data types uh, of the column so that we can get a particular data type for that table column. Okay, so let's go ahead and try this out on Power BI. So let's jump onto the Power BI. In Power BI, I have already opened that under the home tab, uh, transform data, transform data is going to take you to Power Query. And in Power Query, under the home tab, we have this new source. And from there, we are going to create a blank query. Now, it, this is the blank query which we are going to use to create our table. So we right click on this one and open advanced editor. And in this advanced editor, uh, we get this code and inside this code, first let's create a list of list. So let's create a list of list, let's say one, one comma ABC and two comma DEF. Let's create something like that. And then we do it like this and we say source and we say OK. And what you see a list, if you click on this, you are able to see the list of elements. Now, uh, before I move forward, let me rename it. Let me rename it table row, table from row. So we call it table row. Remove the typos. Now right click again, advanced editor. Now let's try out table from rows and in the parenthesis between the brackets let's give that list of list and we got a table now this table doesn't have column names because we have not specified the column name as a second argument now the second argument which we can provide is the name of the columns so let's go and to the advanced editor but i'll tell you you can without going there now because you are able to see the code here you can go ahead and write down in the angular bracket first column let's say i want to call it as id and the second one i want to call it as a name okay all parentheses close let's click on the right button and now we got the name as id and name but you can see the data type is not correct so we would like to correct the data type for that what we have seen the code there that instead of just column names we have to give our column with the data types also so let's do that. And we say type table and that is going to be a kind of a record kind of stuff which we are going to give here. So we give it in square bracket and then now we are going to give column name which is id equals to int 64 dot type comma name equals to text dot type okay so we have given these two arguments and the moment i've done that and i came out you can see this is only abc and this is name so the data type has changed to the correct data type now can i have two records can i have more than that record so you can go to the advanced editor and there i can have few more records added to this table so that i can have more records here in this table three 
and let me keep the name same and let me go to the next ID and let me keep the ID also same. So I want to insert some duplicate records here and I've inserted few duplicate records also. Now let's say okay and you can see everything which we have entered into the list is appearing here and I can now say close and apply or apply to get this as a table so which will be able available for us for analysis now. So go ahead and try this out. Do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you. Keep watching, keep asking questions in comments, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos. Thank you.